Hello everyone, uh, this is Kumar here. I'm again back with uh, another Wednesday Talks on COBOL uh, top 10 interview Q&A that is asked in real-time interview. So this is these are the commonly asked uh, questions I can say. So I'd be explaining uh, in a simple way when the question is asked with a simple description or I can say like this commonly uh, explained way and also with an example how we can answer right so, okay so let me get started with the question number one what is COBOL and what are its futures the normal definition that we can give is a COBOL is a high level programming language used primarily in a business application it features as a simple syntax English like statement supports for decimal arithmetic and easy to use file handling capabilities and there are a lot that you can explain okay you can consider that I mean based on the project that you are working so you can consider to that and you can answer it suppose I'm working with a financial institution uh, my my answer would be this way in a project for a financial institution a COBOL might be used to create a banking application that handles deposits, withdrawals, and account transfers. COBOL supports for decimal arithmetic and fine handling cable capabilities that would be useful for processing, monetary transactions, and manage customer account data. So this would be my answer. Question number two. So explain the difference between a static call and a dynamic call. The, the, the general answer would be like a static call is resolved at compile time and cannot be changed at runtime. A dynamic call is resolved at runtime and can be changed based on the user input or other programming logic. Okay, let me give an example. And I'll take an insurance company. The COBOL program might be used to process claims data. A dynamic call could be used to retrieve information from a customer database based on the claim number entered by the user okay while as a whereas a static call might be used to retrieve fixed information such as company's information or some kind of a contact information about the company so which is fixed that is a static call so question number three what is a COBOL copybook and how it is used a copybook is a file that contains reusable code such as record layouts or subroutine definitions that can be included in multiple COBOL programs. Copybooks can help reduce code duplication and simplify program maintenance. You can connect to the real-time project and you can explain this way. A program uh, copybook can be used to manage inventory data. A copybook could be used to define the layout of the inventory file which would be used by multiple program. This would help ensure consistency and simplify maintenance of the inventory data. Question number four. What is the difference between a binary search and a sequential search? A binary search is a fast search algorithm that works by repeatedly dividing the search interval in a half in half and uh, until the target value is found. A sequential search works by checking each time in the list one at a time until the target value is found. We can connect to the project of the shipping company. Uh, so let's say you wanted to track the packages. A binary search can be used to quickly locate a package based on its tracking number. While a sequential search might be used to find all packages that were delivered on a certain date. Question number five, explain the difference between a move and a compute statement. A move statement is used to assign a value to a variable, whereas a compute statement is used to perform arithmetic operation on one or more variable. Let's say you are trying to manage a patient's data in a healthcare project. A move statement could be used to copy a patient's name from a variable to another. Whereas using compute statement is to calculate a patient's BMI based on their height and weight. Okay. Question number six, what is a data division and how, what does it contain? A data division is a section of a COBOL program that defines the data used by the program. It contains declaration for variables, files and record layout. Let me give you an example. Uh, data division can be used to manage tax data 
the data division would contain declaration of variables that store taxpayer information it such as name social security number and income what is the difference between 01 level and the 77 level in cobol a 01 level is used to define a record layout whereas 77 level is used to define a standalone variable and 01 level can contain other levels like 01 02 035 while a 77 level cannot okay let me take another example of managing a shipping data and zero level could be used to define the layout of a shipment record which might include details such as the destination address and shipping date and so on and coming to the 77 level number it could be used to define a variable that stores the number of items in a shipment which is fixed right number of items so question number eight what is a subroutine and how it is used in COBOL a subroutine is a self-contained block of a code that can be called from multiple parts of a program it can be used to perform a specific task such as performing a calculation or updating a file Okay. it's uh, I can say like uh, in a, connecting the project let's take a student uh, managing a project data so you're trying to manage student data a Cobra program you can write uh, a subroutine could be used to calculate a student's GPA based on their grades in multiple classes and this subroutine could be called from multiple parts of the program such as when displaying the student's transcript or calculating scholarship eligibility and so on basically it's a reusable code okay what is a file status code and how it is used a file status code is a two digit code written by a file operation that indicates the status of the operation such as whether it was successful or not file status code can be used in program logic to determine how to proceed based on the results of a file operation okay uh, i can say like uh, let's take an, uh, a manufacturing company project okay so you have uh, managing inventory data a file status code could be used to determine whether a right operation was successful or not and the program could cause the, use this information to take appropriate action such as displaying an error message or retrying the operation the final question is how do you handle errors and exceptions in COBOL program you can answer it in a different way COBOL program can use error handling techniques such as file status codes condition names exception handling routines to handle errors and exception these techniques can help ensure the program behave correctly even when unexpected error occur okay let's say you're working in a logistic company cobol program might be used to manage your delivery data if an error occurs such as a package being misrouted or a delivery through truck breakdown the program might generate an exception and notify a dispatcher or a manager the program might also have a built-in error handling routine such as retrying a failed operation or rolling back a transaction if an error occur this would help ensure programs operates reliably and efficiently even in the face of unexpected events or errors right so this is how you can answer okay so thank you so much so these way the commonly asked questions in COBOL so there are many number of questions but I just wanted to give an example like when when you face an interview so try to connect to the real-time project whether don't give a straightforward answer like a definition just connect to the project and explain it so that interview feel more confident on you and you have a more chances of getting interview cracked and you would be ready to the new opportunity or the new organization and you crack a job okay so just uh, you can rewatch this video so to listen up once again and uh, make a note on each point and uh, i am confident that this practice would definitely help you and try to connect with other modules as well in a similar way try to connect to the project and just explain in an interview so that's it 
for this video so i'll be coming up with uh, some other videos on different different topics okay thank you so much if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe share thank you